Hey gang, it's Scott the Media Hoarder with a couple of new items I've picked up for the studio today. Let's have a quick look. This is an Ampex AX50 reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder and player. Got this for $125. I like that it's got the Needly VU meters. Those should be fun to watch. And what kind of buttons do we have? What source we're going to be listening to? Uh, echo? 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 Really? Echo? really? I, think I want Echo. S with S, S on S. Alright, I don't understand. Uh, filter, I'm going to have to find out what it's filtering. Usually I don't want filters on. Uh, and which tracks am I going to be playing? 2 1 1, stereo, mono 2, 1 2. That will help me decide which tracks because typically these reel to reel tapes are quarter inch tapes that uh, have four tracks on them. Two go in stereo one way, two go in stereo the other way. And echo S on S. So I guess this is set up, maybe S is on S is sound on sound, so that you could theoretically, instead of running this as left right stereo, you could run this as two tracks and maybe you could overdub. We've got a transport control, tape counter, and I was wondering if it had this, because it should. This is a speed control. So, how fast is your tape going? Seven and a half inches per second, three and three quarters, or one and seven eighths. I'm excited about this, and the reason I bought it is because I just came into possession of a whole bunch of old reel-to-reel -reel tapes from the late 60s. That will be in another video. Outputs include what you see there. It's an Ampex AX50. It's made in Japan. You'll see it says designed by Ampex, manufactured in Japan. It doesn't say manufactured by who. I have heard this was actually built by Hitachi. You know what they're famous for, right? Rice cookers that never wear out. Okay, uh, pick this up, and I think I may have paid too much for it. It's listed as having been at this pawn shop since 2016. At a sticker price of $350, that's outrageous. I paid $250. This is Panasonic. That's an SVHS VCR MD830. Huh, what's different about this? This is made for doctor's offices. It even says on the top it is a listed medical equipment, and you can only reliably ground it if it's in a hospital-grade receptacle. Really, it's just a VCR, but it has a couple of extra features that make it a VCR that I would want to buy instead of just leave on a shelf. It has, I'm told, a built-in time-based corrector. That's uh, something that stabilizes the video because video is mechanical. VCRs are mechanical, so they almost never run at exactly the right speed. A time-based corrector samples each line of the video and then syncs it up and spits it at the other end with all the sync codes perfectly lined up. So it helps me stabilize the video when I'm capturing. Not a lot of VCRs have one built in. This one does. And it's SVHS. What does that mean? Almost nothing, because I don't play SVHS tapes. But what I do like is the S-Video connector on the back. It separates the Y and the C parts of the signal. If you don't know what that means, that's fine. I'm not going to explain it all right now, but instead of all the pieces of the video coming out of one cable like you would get in a plain old video output, you'll see there's a BNC connector instead of an RCA connector, it actually splits part of it, one wire, part of it another wire, and then recombobulates it all at the end. Somehow that's supposed to make things better. I'm not going to explain all why. This had the option of a remote control unit. Why would you have a VCR in a doctor's office? What if you're doing ultrasounds and you need to review ultrasounds? You need to record them on something. They would record them on a VHS tape in SVHS and be able to play it back. The downside of this VCR, aside from the fact that I probably paid too much and I have no idea whether it's in excellent working shape or what, is... I have forgotten. Oh yes, no, it, it only plays SP tapes. You'll remember that VHS had three speeds, SP, EP or LP or SLP or extreme long, it had three modes. This only does the first one. That's fine. 
for other tapes, I have other VCRs. So I look forward to playing with this, cleaning it up because it's been in a pawn shop for a while and it needs to be cleaned up. This thing, I want to get going too. So thanks for joining me, Scott the Media Hoarder. Please follow on Facebook, follow on YouTube, subscribe, like, do whatever it takes to say, oh, this is a good video. And I'll come back with more, including playing stuff on these things. Cheers.